Hello, I'm Nikki for Creative Pro. Let's talk about something deceptively small, but incredibly important in web accessibility, and that's button states. When we skip accessible states, such as hover and focus, we leave users guessing, especially folks navigating by keyboard, screen reader, or with low vision. Buttons aren't just visuals, they're interactive cues, and every state should give clear, consistent feedback to the user. So today, I'll show you an example of accessible button states utilizing Figma, making your design system not just functional, but inclusive from the ground up. I now have my Figma up and I'm looking at my button component. For this particular example, we're going super easy for simplicity's sake. As you can see, my button component has multiple different states along the left-hand side here. The first one is default. This default state indicates that the button is interactive and clickable. And of course, if the user is using a mouse, they will see the hover state. The active state is when the button is being interacted with and is in focus. And lastly, the inactive state. This is when the button is no longer active and is not clickable. It's important to note that every single one of these button states are meeting the minimum color contrast for accessibility. There is a clear distinction between the default and the hover, so a user does know when they are hovering over buttons. And for our active state, I just want to note that focus is incredibly important for accessibility. It helps to indicate where a user is interacting and especially if a user is utilizing a keyboard, they can see where their focus is being applied. On this right-hand panel, you can see that we can select from all of our different states, our hover, active, and inactive. I'm gonna go back to default. I also have several variables applied to this particular button. I can update my text directly from here. And I can also apply icons if I wished. One of my favorite parts about Figma is creating clickable prototypes and seeing everything happen live. And in this example, I have a login screen in which we can see how the same concept can be applied to multiple different components. As I hover over these elements, you can see how I am enabling their hover state. And as I'm clicking through this, you can see how the focus states are applied. Now, of course, there's so much more to creating accessible design systems, but paying attention to the different component states is crucially important. Keep exploring, keep iterating, and most of all, keep designing with everyone in mind. Because after all, accessibility benefits all. See you around, Creative Pro friends. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.